Hey guys. Hi guys. We are outside CVS Pharmacy. Pharmacy. It is a pharmacy. The reason we're confused is we've had a peek in one the other day when I went to get some pain relief and we were shocked with what we saw. So. Cigarettes, sweeties. Yeah. So yeah, we just wanted to make a video out of this because we were yeah. just in awe, really. Because we definitely don't have that in the UK. So come with us and uh, explore. Let's go and explore. Here we are, the aircon's lovely. Right, we keep seeing these everywhere. Beer koozies. Oh. I think they call them koozies. Beer koozies. Well, I thought they were socks as well, but they put beers in them. We yeah. thought they were camera cases. Remember, we yeah. were in Texas, we thought this was a camera case. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is hysterical. This is a pharmacy, guys. Oh my gosh. And look at all of this. In the UK, you can't get like loads of chocolate or no. sweets at a pharmacy. Because there's a conflict yeah, of interest. Yeah, absolutely. What's oh, alcohol though? over there behind the desk. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, so behind funny. the desk. The spirits of the so pharmacy. So funny. So funny. Let's go and have a look at the painkillers. Oh yeah, we love, love the painkillers. There's some more alcohol. Let's see if they've got any Prosecco. I can see some. Rafino and La Marca. Quite expensive though. In the UK that would be like seven quid. Yeah. I thought someone was just saying to me, what are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> looking at Prosecco, thank you very much. Look how cool this is. I wish we had these. House wine. This is what we want to create, don't we? We want to yeah. create a Prosecco in a cool can like this. Yeah. I've been saying it for a while. Yeah. waiting for a company to want to collaborate with I know, with someone is definitely, someone's definitely going to steal our idea before we get to do it. But it costs a lot of money to set up an alcohol business, so can't do it yet. Drunk. That's amazing. That's me and you yesterday, drunk, drunk one and drunk, drunk two. One. Yeah. <laughs> Wine that's not in the fridge. Lovely. What would you go for? A Chardonnay, a white Zinfandel. Is that technically rosé? Rosé or... or a Moscato? I've never heard of Moscato. It sounds like a car. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? No. They're probably ideas for that. We're livid that we've been into casinos and no one's ID'd us. No like, one's asked for ID once. Yeah. We, we haven't not, got wrinkles. Do we not look young? No. It's so offensive. This water's cheap. Yeah. Yesterday we paid how much for water? That's what we got yesterday. Oh my gosh, $2.89. When we bought them yesterday, they're about $5 each. More than that. Oh yeah, but then the tax on top. And tax. Yeah, that would have been better. I can't believe there's an alcohol aisle in a pharmacy. It blows our mind. We can't believe this. <laughs> Look, what, what else have they got? What? No way. White Castle sliders. No, we love White Castle. Must be good for you. The service is so bad at White Castle that we'd been quicker off coming here, yeah. buying them and getting them in the oven. Buying them from CVS. All we did yesterday was lay by the pool and uh, have a margarita and a frosé and that was it. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, Joel. Honey buns. Cinnamon they look buns. incredible. Made by Little Debbie. Little Debbie, that's Little my mum. Hello Debbie. Little Debbie made that, didn't she? This is and so this funny. Is Ew. Debbie, oh my gosh, disgusting. That is not icing. I'm what gonna do that? that Leah thing of squishing everything through. You'll trigger everyone. I've got if you a, do that. Um, a habit of squishing things like in packets. Even got dice and cards because it's Vegas. This is brilliant. Let's see if they've got my name. No, they do. For once. Just spoke to a lady over the counter about trying to get a cream that I use in the UK, which clears up this little eczema thing on the corner of my mouth and she said that the one that I was using was an antibiotic so uh, I needed to get a doctor's appointment to get it so I'm obviously not going to do that here I'll just do that back in the UK but uh, it's just quite annoying because I can't really open my mouth <laughs> without it hurting I get these little cuts anyway back to finding Joel see where he is see what he's up to She's hiding from me, the naughty girl. I was, okay, I was looking for, for you. you. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. I said to my vlog camera, I'm like looking for Joel, and then I spotted, well, what I thought I spotted were hair ties. Oh, yeah, you need some of those. You need some of these. And also, people always ask me in the comments of our videos, like, what is that around your finger? Like, I just have this habit of like tying them and just 
playing with hair to that, so I lose them all the time. Yeah. Um, so I thought it'd be around here, nails, mm. hair. Um, oh, Joel, as a woman, ladies, this this stuff literally makes your legs look like you've been airbrushed. Wow. Spit on your legs. It, I said, know it's called airbrush eggs. It, it says it does what it says on the can. So that's your secret. Not Look today. Not teams. today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> we came here yesterday and we were overwhelmed by how many pain relievers there are. In the UK, you just have like paracetamol and ibuprofen, and that's, and that's it. it. But look at all this. Look at all this Tylenol. What's the difference between each of these? I don't and know. Price in the UK for the, this is like fourteen dollars in the UK. It's like fifty p. Yeah. Why is it so expensive in America? Crazy, isn't it? What shocks us is the amount of painkillers you can buy in one go. Yeah. So there's like a limit in the UK you can only buy like, I think it's like there's 10 in a pack. Yeah, and you can buy two packs. Maximum. Per, not per day, but as in per transaction. So yeah. this apparently is the personal intimacy personal section. Intimacy se intimacy <laughs> personal intimacy section has got, uh, I'm not sure how you, sort of massages that, you, that can be used in certain places. In a pharmacy. In a pharmacy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, just a bit in shock, really. The socks that you put on your feet, yeah. and then you leave skin them on for like 20 minutes, eye. and then you take them off, yeah. and your skin, skin peels eye. over the next few days. Like, whole no layer of skin way. comes off your feet. That sounds incredible. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Can, I, can we. Can, what, will it also it peel off? One? I don't want it to peel off my yes, um, exfoliating foot peel, yeah. I don't want it to peel off my. Uh, what do you call it? Nail polish, but I don't know if it will. Okay, I can just redo it, I guess. Look, this sounds it ends hysterical. Up like that. <gasps> How gross is that? Oh my! Blimey, that is something else. But that that sounds like it's got to be good for you. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. It's going to ruin our feet for the rest of this trip, though. Well, we, should we do it? I mean, I think it does it days later. It's sensitive. Oh my gosh, Joel, we'll be walking around and then like it will yeah, be shedding. Will be coming off. We need to get them. <laughs> So Are we doing it in England though? Yeah, maybe we should. Do it in England. Guys, if you want to see a video dedicated to our foot peels, let us know. Joel, that is going to go viral because our feet are in it. Our feet are in it. <laughs> There's so many foot fetish people on the internet. I know. This is a lot of sun cream. Look at this. Can you test it? Or lotion, as they call it in America. Lotion. That was a very good American accent from me. Lotion. lotion. Oh, I spoke to the woman on the counter. Yeah. She said, no, that's an antibiotic. You need an appointment to do that. So I just said I'd do it back in England. Fine. It's really annoying because it's dried up right now. Yeah. I can't really open my mouth. <gasps> Sunbum. Sorry, that's just a really cool name for a brand. Yeah, that is quite cool. Sunbum. Losing 50. Oh, I've seen Americans use this oh, sunscreen someone's spray. Someone's already opened that and used okay. loads of it. Look. It's all like, uh. Uh. But look, I've seen Americans use this where they just spray it on. It's not like a proper spray. You know, right. we have pumping sprays. Yeah. But that's like an aerosol spray, sun cream. Oh, so you cream. don't even need to rub it in? No, you yeah, you just aerosol spray it all over you. And you do your back like Yeah. That. Oh, I just hit myself. Oh. They're too expensive. I think that is a rip-off, personally, ladies. Six ninety nine for hair ties. That would be like 99p in the What, UK. for that many? Not for that many, maybe for like this many, which is as many as I need until I lose them yeah. again. Yeah. Shall I just get all of these for six ninety nine? I think it's a bit of a rip off. I think you should get throwback some of these. Scrunchies. Scrunchies. Or a hairband. I quite like these actually. A bit more unique, aren't yeah, they? Nice. I feel like tights. I like this lingo, quick curls. The best darn quick. What was it? The best darn quick curl cream, period. That's amazing. Period cream? Yeah, look, this is so cash, the way they do it. Oh yeah? It says the best darn quick curl cream, period. Period. I like that it says darn. Darn. The thing is, even though we've made fun of this shop, like I could spend a lot of money in here. Oh, we made fun of it? Yeah, of course we have. We made fun of the, the sweets. Oh yeah. Everything. But so I, I could spend shopping. so much money. Yeah, I easily could as well. I think in general it is overpriced, but it is quite expensive. I love buying stuff. Yeah, imagine buying all of your ointments, all your creams, yeah. all your food, all your makeup, clothing as well. There's bits of clothing. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, so got clothes in here. Yeah, but like tap, like souvenirs. Yeah. See, I need some of these shampoos that make your hair grow. I wonder what's good for that. 
This is the thing as well with the different names. They've got different names here, here in the US. So yeah. it took me ages to realize what paracetamol was in the US. And I think it's it Tylenol or Advil or something like that. You have to get this out of the cage if you want to buy yeah, it. Yeah, why is it behind closed doors? Oh, look. These are expensive brands. Living Proof, uh, Paul that's Mitchell. That's hysterical. That American wouldn't happen in the Proof. UK. No, I don't think so. No. You just risk it. Look at these sports tapes and look at the example. <laughs> that would I take you an hour to get ready. I wouldn't mind some gym tape. I need yeah. some on my left knee. Yeah, I was saying my knee creaks like whenever I do squats or anything, my knees start to take a battering. It's just the one knee that's weak for me. Both of yours or one? A bit both, but mainly my right one. But that's probably because yeah. it's my main knee. I could do with something more like that, just for oh, the gym. Yeah. Just something like that to keep it sort of from yeah basically just to keep it from coming out of place yeah that's what, overall i think you can just get anything here anything you want you yeah literally get. anything this is like a mini walmart really let's be is. honest you could spend a lot of money on here it? yeah icy hot that's what everyone keeps telling me to get what for arthritis for, for when i've hurt my back doing deadlifts and stuff like you need icy Ooh, hot icy hot, icy hot. There we go. Um, we made four purchases. Has it worked? Yeah. Amazing. Well done, CVS. Right, we're back outside now in the boiling heat. We got um, we got sold to. They had a stand in the pharmacy where they sell you shows and helicopter tours. Yeah. In the pharmacy. In the pharmacy, so we got cornered and then pitched to yeah. trying to do a Grand, Ta Grand Canyon tour. Grand, <laughs> Grand Canyon, Canyon tour, like helicopter tour, shows, shows, everything. And we're like, we just don't have the time or money to do all these things, you know? Yeah, so uh, we were just stood chatting to the lady for a while. Yeah, we were just saying how good Americans are at sales pitches. So good. It's so interesting just watching her sell it to us. Yeah. By the end of it, you kind of like, you're almost sold. Yeah, you're like, you realize, yeah. actually, 400 per person is quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so that was our tour of CVS. I mean, to you guys, it would have been very, very normal. But to us, it was very interesting. Yeah. If you like this video, then go and check out some of our others where we go into Target, Walmart. Yeah. We just love supermarkets. We love it. Give us a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe. We post videos thrice weekly, weekly, weekly twice, twice on this channel, channel and once on our personals. personals. See you, next time. <laughs> See you next time. Nailed Bye. it. Bye.